He is known for his expertise in timpanis and percussion, as well as his skills in composition. He studied under Alfred Wagner and Helmut Rethmuller at the University of Music in Weimar. His name is Siegfried Fink. In the world of music, there are legends who leave an indelible mark on their field. One such legend is Siegfried Fink, a renowned percussionist and composer. Fink's journey began in 1948 when he enrolled at the University of Music in Weimar, studying timpanis and percussion under the guidance of Alfred Wagner. His passion for music led him to also explore composition, studying under the esteemed Helmut Rethmuller. After honing his skills and gaining valuable experience, Fink embarked on a remarkable career. He held various orchestral and teaching positions in cities like Weimar, Magdeburg, Lübeck, and Hanover. Fink's exceptional talent and dedication led him to secure a permanent teaching position for timpanis and percussion at the prestigious Hochschule for Musik Würzburg. In 1974, Fink's extraordinary contributions to the field of music were recognized when he was promoted to a full professor and appointed as the head of the studio for percussion in Würzburg. This role allowed him to inspire and nurture the next generation of musicians, sharing his expertise and passion for percussion. Fink continued to excel in his position until his retirement in 1993, leaving behind a legacy of excellence that would inspire aspiring musicians for years to come. In the world of percussion, Siegfried Fink's impact was undeniable. Under his guidance, the studio for percussion in Würzburg became one of the most renowned schools for percussion worldwide. Fink's innovative teaching methods and his focus on contemporary art music set him apart from his peers. He educated over 100 students, imparting his knowledge and expertise on percussion instruments. Despite his influence and contributions, Fink did not have any internationally recognized compositions dedicated to him. This made it difficult to fully verify the extent of his developments. However, within the local percussion scene, particularly in Germany, Fink was known as the self-proclaimed percussion papst or percussion pope. Fink's significant achievements in art music and teaching did not go unnoticed. He was honored with the Bundesverdienstkreis, received various art prizes, and was awarded honorary doctorates from the universities for music in Sofia and Barcelona. Some of his students even secured teaching positions at these universities. In recognition of his lifelong dedication to education, Fink was bestowed the Lifetime Achievement in Education Award from the Percussive Arts Society of the U.S. Fink's artistic and creative work is well documented, with over 20 disc recordings showcasing his compositions. He also conducted several percussion groups and collaborated with European publishers to establish numerous percussion editions. Additionally, Fink played a vital role in developing the first curriculum for teaching percussion instruments in German music schools. However, his influence beyond Germany remained minimal. Despite his accomplishments, Fink faced criticism from some of his more prominent colleagues. Orchestral players and contemporary music performers alike criticized him for not providing a comprehensive education in traditional literature. Some considered his self-promotion and claims to be overrated, lacking substantial evidence. Among Fink's strongest critics were the Munich Percussion School, led by Professor Karl Pinkefer and Hermann Schwentner, Professor K. Treselt, Professor Sniguriev, and Professor B. Wolf. Throughout his career, Fink composed over 160 pieces of music, primarily intended for study rather than performance. His repertoire included solo works, chamber music, ballet music, and movie scores. Many of his students went on to achieve success, receiving prizes at international competitions and establishing themselves as renowned percussionists. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.